Hello and welcome to the Blue Island Public Library. We're doing another craft project and this is going to be a part of our summer reading craft projects for kids. This is a paint by sticker, which is a craft that you can pick up at Amazon.com. And what your child can do, I'm going to take this out. When we put these kits, and by the way, this is a kit, a craft kit for a child that you can pick up here at the library. So, in this kit, in this kit, if I can get it out properly, okay, there we go, you have a little message to once you've completed your project, um, if you could just send us a photo of your project completed so we can post it on our social media sites. Okay? That's that. Then, the instructions. It's pretty simple. It's almost like coloring by numbers, but this is just placing stickers by numbers. These are your instructions, and they're pretty simple. If you're child is too young you can read the instructions with them you can go over the project with them and have as much fun as you like okay and this is the project I've chosen I think she is a witch practicing magic and then here on the second sheet are the stickers okay so to start this project, I'm just going to move this over here. And by the way, they're not all one particular pattern. They give you 10 different patterns that you can do. Or if you want to invite some of your friends over and have a dis social distance sticker party or paint by sticker, that's, this would be a great project to do. Okay, so I'm going to start out by, on this piece of paper, it's the white areas are where you will find the numbers. Okay, so on this sticker, the numbers are located under the stickers. I hope I said that right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start over here with these three items which is 61 and you just peel it off and you want to get the sticker in, sticker in the same shape that the actual picture is so you can get it on there properly and just give it a little rub down once you've completed putting your sticker Number 55. And number 4. Okay. So I've I have the first three stickers on, which should look like this, okay? Then I'm going to move over to completing the body, and I'm going to start with sticker number 39. Now, you want to angle the sticker the same way that the picture has it here, or it will be a total loss. So you don't have to be perfect with it. As long as you get it in the same direction, that's fine. And then I'm going to go to sticker number five. Aha. And then I'm going to turn it in the same angle. I like to shift my paper around so therefore I can get it stuck on the paper pretty well. 
again it's not going to be perfect perfect it's designed to leave little white lines outside of the sticker it gives it character i say and then i'm going to do number 24 Number six. Number seven. Number 33, which is the face. Number 10. Now, I let's see where I put it. Ah, I have a ruler. Doesn't have any sharp edges, but it has a good enough point that when I'm dealing with small stickers like this, and they can be a little tricky if you have bigger fingers to kind of stick them on. So what I do is I get the edge of the sticker on, I hold it down with the ruler, try not to move it too much, and get it stuck on. And she has hair now. Number 21. And again, you want to make sure that you're placing the sticker on the chart in the exact way that they have it laid out for you. I'm going to use a ruler again. This is a small sticker. I'm going to hold it there and pop it on number eight. I think I'm getting good at this. <laughs> okay, number eight, right next to it. Number 12. Remembering to add the sticker according to how it's laid out on the actual picture. This is actually a wizard. Now that I look at it, it gives me Harry Potter vibes, Dumbledore. My kids and I used to watch all of their movies when they were young. Um, yeah. So number 44. Number 14. Mm -hmm. 
wand. So you have the makings of a wizard. So when, you, when you're finished, you should have a completed not that one, a completed wizard like this. It looks very mosaic. It's not my best quality, but it's beautiful. Now, you may or may not want to preserve this. If it's your child's first project, you want to save it. What I would do is if you have some clear tape at home and you don't mind using some tape, is just to place it over the object This way the stickers don't raise up and they can actually hang the artwork. Okay. Now, again, completed project. It's a wizard. It is paint by stickers. We have this craft kit here at the library. I will post on uh, the library's website also on Facebook when these pro when these craft kits are available for you to pick up. Thank you and um, happy uh, happy Monday.